Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? It is your boy Darren coming at you with another DOJ Fleet Friday video. Hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Friday morning or afternoon, wherever it is that you live. Today, we have a very special, uh, two very special vehicles to show you guys. Now, I know that I already did the Sheriff's Department in Season 1, but this being Season 2, we're going back and starting over and going through all the vehicles that we may have missed with some new pushes, things like that. So if highway, were, if highway were to get any new vehicles, we'd obviously jump back to Highway. But for right now, we are going through Sheriff again. They have an entire new fleet to show off. And with that, some new information to give you as well. In today's video, we are going to be showcasing the 2018 and 2009 Dodge Chargers. Both of them look absolutely beautiful. Beautiful looking vehicles. Just incredibly made very high quality just uh they just look so nice to look at we got the uh bling county sheriff's department liveries on them we got the redneck logo on the top that is the developer of these vehicles let's go ahead and pull out we're gonna start off with the 2018 dodge charger let's go ahead and get in this bad boy with our copenhagen on the dashboard and let's go ahead and pull forward uh, in case you guys know, even with advanced airbags, children can be killed or seriously injured by the airbag. So make sure that you don't have any children driving this car, okay? It says it right there on that warning sticker. So just be careful, okay? But anyways, continuing on, we're going to get down low here. Now, if you guys don't know how the Fleet Friday works, we pull the vehicles out of their bay. We do a walk around of the car and go over all of the cool little quirks and features that this vehicle has all the rank requirements and things like that let's go ahead and close this door and let's do the walk around so starting from the front of the vehicle we can see that satina ram bar coming in nice we got the three levels of lighting right here got the actually four levels of lighting sorry we got the low the middle and the top so sorry no that is three got the uh, red and blues in the fog bay. I don't know why that one's not flashing, but that should be a blue light right there. We got the red and blues right here on the Satina push bar. We can see that wire kind of going back into that grill there. And w then we have the red and blue lights, obviously, in the grill itself. Coming up to a higher level, we have the red and blue on the... Um, mirrors now again this should be flashing but that would be a blue right there and then coming around over here we can see that the passenger side and driver side spotlight as well as that watch guard uh dash cam right there now this vehicle is unlocked at the rank of a deputy two so this is a deputy two level vehicle we can see the ion lighting right there in the prisoner bay for some intersection lighting as well we have that red lighting right there strobing from the push bar and coming into the wheel in light bar we got some blue flashing up there as well now coming around to the back we see the the red and blue really come to life we got the red and blue in the in the light bar itself we got some red and blues right there as well as our radar system and then coming backwards we have the red and blue flashing in the reverse bay and then so two nice red and blue standoff lights to complement the license plate that we have back there now obviously we do have that thin blue line sticker as well coming around to the side we can see the same thing as the other side however this side's just in red except for that push bar is obviously in blue and then we have the all-wheel drive rims but i'm pretty sure you can change those out for some steelies if you so choose coming into the vehicle itself let's go ahead and get down low here we have the copenhagen obviously right there on the dashboard we have some handcuffs wrapped around the spotlight handle looking at the ndt we can see that panasonic cuff book right there in its mount obviously no police car would be solved or finished without some nice coffee right there and then you can also see that portable printer 
right there as well in that center to write out tickets and things like that. Let's go ahead and jump inside. You can see our shotgun and AR and then our watch guard uh, control panel right here. Let's go ahead and head on over to the other side so that we can take a look over here. On this side, we also still do have those handcuffs right there on the handle for the passenger side uh, spotlight. And then we can see a seat organizer, a pro guard seat organizer right here with the police vest, the police line tape, and the uh, emergency response handbook in case anybody gets into any kind of serious trouble. And again, the shotgun and the AR popping off right there. Let's go ahead and pull all this open so we can look at the under the hood. Under the hood looks nice, not super detailed, but that's what we want. Got, we can see just enough to understand that this is in fact an engine and that it doesn't run on hopes and dreams. Coming to the back, we got a, ni we got a nice amount of cool little things back here. We got the ALPR processor, as well as I believe that's actually just a battery uh, for the for the car. Uh, we got the fire extinguisher and a toolbox, some flares, some more police line, a radio, and then obviously some gloves and some magtech ammunition back there. So beautiful, beautiful looking exterior and interior of this vehicle. Let's go ahead and get all these things shut and let's get to work on the uh, vehicle itself. Looking at all the liveries that this vehicle has to offer as well as all of the extras. So again, this is a Deputy 2 level vehicle. However, I wouldn't be surprised to see maybe some subdivision liveries on this vehicle as well. Let's go ahead Go through all the liveries. Livery number zero is going to be the standard uh, Blaine County Sheriff's Department livery. Nothing crazy there. Just the standard one. Going on to livery number one, we can see the LCS, sorry, the LSCS, the Los Santos County Sheriff's livery. These are going to be the people that operate down in the city uh, to assist the LSPD based on jurisdiction. Coming into livery number two, this is going to be the unmarked livery. This is what you would see without that light bar, but with the more slick top effect going on. And then it comes back to livery number zero. So only three liveries on this vehicle. Now we're going to go ahead and put this back on, zero out all the extras, and let's take a look at what all of this has to offer. So this is going to be your base vehicle extra number one. Um, let's go ahead. Let's see if we can fix uh, fix it so that we can get that red and blue uh, continuing on that bottom bar. Uh, let me let me give me one second, guys. Let me see if I can uh, get that back so that you guys can fully appreciate that. Uh, we're gonna go back and delete this, and let's let's check let's check out this vehicle right. Here. So let's turn on the lights and see if we can get that blue light working. And there it is. Sure enough, there's that blue light. Let's go ahead and get the door closed. Ooh, perfect. So this is going to be our vehicle without any extras on. Actually, I do see one extra on right now. Let's go ahead and turn that off. That extra is going to be uh, up there on the roof. So. Going on to extra number one, that is going to be our light bar. But for purposes of this, we're going to keep that on. But extra number one is that Whalen light bar. With uh, Let's go ahead and turn on the, the takedowns as well. I would like to see those in action if we can. Let's see what those look like. Okay, so no, no, uh, no takedown action from the light bar. Not a problem. Let's go ahead and go back into the extras. We're going to go ahead and take that off. Extra number two is going to be our visor lighting right here on the vehicle, giving us a nice red and blue pattern with a strobe and side-to-side -side effect. Going on to extra number three, we have another dashboard red and blue wigwagging right there. 
nice and slow, nothing crazy, no real pattern there, just back and forth. Extra number four is going to be those grill lights that we saw earlier uh, down in there. So this was behind you, uh, completely unmarked uh, with some heavy tint. You may not know that this is a police car, especially if we were to remove this stuff. You may not be able to tell that this was actually a police car coming up behind you but we're going to keep those things on going on to extra number five that is going to be our spotlights facing upwards and extra number six is going to be our spotlights facing inwards so that's not going to be something that you would be able to use but uh this is how and those spotlights do work so you would be able to turn those spotlights on when coming up onto a call to give yourself some more visibility going on to extra number six Sorry, extra number seven, that's going to be our ram bar, which means extra number eight is going to be our wraparound for that ram bar. So we can see that nice, uh, thick wraparound going around the front of the vehicle. Going on to extra number nine, that's going to be our ALPR systems going straight into the trunk. We can see those wires right to the processor that's also back there in the trunk. Extra number 10, extra number 10 is going to be some antennas back there, maybe also for the ALPR system. And going on to extra number 11, some more antennas uh, on the top. Extra number 12 is going to be, you guessed it, even more antennas. And that's going to be the full slick top package that you have going on if you wanted to uh, ride, I don't know, maybe maybe unmarked with a nice little uh, black effect going on. I mean, I believe that this looks pretty, pretty nice. This is, this is a, this is a nice looking vehicle. Um, obviously at deputy two, you would not be able to uh, drive this unmarked in the, in the fashion that I'm showing it, but it does have a great potential deputy two unlocked vehicle. And this is going to be the 2018 Dodge charger. We're going to go back and take out the 2009 Dodge Charger, have the mechanic take this car away and back into its bay. And let's go ahead and pull this vehicle out. Now, this is the 2009 Dodge Charger. This is unlocked at the rank of Master Deputy. So this is a Master Deputy level vehicle. And again, we got that Satina push bar. Let's go ahead and get out, do a walk around to the vehicle and see what this has to offer similar to the beginning or to the 2018 charger we do have those fog lights now they are double road spotlights or sorry uh fog lights so red and blue giving off some more lighting down there in the fog bay we also have that satina push bar and as well the red and blue in the grill as well as the red and blue on the push bar itself with that nice little wraparound to complement it we also have the red and blue on the dash and then the blue light up here on the mirror coming around to the side here we do have that whale and light bar it's a little bit smaller than the other one uh, we can definitely tell a difference and you can really see a defined bay there for the takedowns and the alley lights right there so this is an older vehicle that you're looking at right now coming around to the back we have uh, a similar layout to the other one obviously the red and blue from the light bar itself the red and blue lights in the back window and then the reverse radar right there as well as the red and blue next to the license plate and then the red and blue in the uh, reverse light bay coming around to this side we got the red complements on the uh, push bar for the intersection lighting and this car is actually sporting the steelies that we were talking about earlier and then blue up here on the light bar let's go ahead and get this vehicle opened up again this is an older style vehicle so we we may not see some things that we're used to uh, but nonetheless i believe that this is going to be a beautiful beautiful looking vi uh, um, vehicle and we are back. Sorry about that. Uh, was not expecting that. Coming around to the front, obviously we can see that hood cover. Uh, they don't want us to see the engine. Some privacy reasons in there. Coming around to the side, looking inside the vehicle, uh, we do have that that 2009. We see some modern equipment in here as well, um, such as that watch guard 
that watch guard dash cam system and the portable printer. Got some coffee. Again, no police car complete without coffee in the uh, in the seat. I don't know why none of the deputies take the coffee out of their cars when they leave, but who knows? Maybe they want it to be cold in the morning and they want themselves some cold coffee when they wake up. I don't know. Got the AR and the shotgun right there in the rack and some ion lighting right here in the prisoner bay. Uh, coming around, got still got that Copenhagen right there and a GPS system on the windshield. And you can see that radar system on the passenger side. You can also see a little uh, night light right there to be able to uh, read and do things like that on your on your laptop, fill out reports and all that other cool stuff. Coming around to the back, we have the prisoner partition. Nothing too crazy there. And then back here we have the radio, the radio, the AOPR processor. I believe that's a battery or some kind of processor, some kind of obviously an electrical equipment. Uh, we got the uh, toolbox and the fire extinguisher. Couldn't think of it there for a second. Don't know what else is back here. I think that is it. Obviously, the flares, police line, radio, and the uh, some gloves and as well some ammo in the back. Coming around to this side, that same seat organizer that you see, the emergency response handbook, the police vest, and the police line so that is going to be it for the exterior and interior of this vehicle let's go ahead and get everything shut uh we're gonna go ahead and do boom 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 and then we can keep the left one open because we're gonna get in all right now we can close it go ahead and ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. There we go. We're looking good. Let's go ahead and take a look at the all the liveries that this vehicle has to offer. Now, going through the liveries, livery number zero is going to be the default BCSO, Blaine County Sheriff's Office uh, livery that you see there. Going on to livery number one is going to be the Los Santos County Sheriff's Department and then going on to livery number two is going to be the unmarked. Now, I don't know. And there you go. So that is going to be all three liveries. Both the 18 and the 09 Charger only have those three default liveries. Going into the extras, let's go ahead and turn everything off. Go through. And we'll look at what everything does. So with no extras on, this is the vehicle that you would get in an unmarked or slick top fashion. I I actually believe that this actually looks pretty good. I think that this is giving off enough light, but it can definitely do better. Extra number one is going to be that light bar going on to the top, same as the 18 Charger. Going on to extra number two, we have that visor lighting going on right there. Beautiful, beautiful looking. Going extra number three is going to be that dashboard lighting. Going on to action number four is going to be the uh, bay lights down here in the uh, grill. Again, those lights aren't displaying. I don't know why, but not a problem. Uh, that Oh, there we go. We saw it there for a second. That left side is going to be blue and the right side is obviously red. Action number five is going to be our spotlights. Ooh, I really like that. That like old style effect that it has. Do the... Uh, do they work? Oh, they do work on the light bar too. You can you can definitely tell. Oh, that's that is a beautiful look right there coming up behind you. I, that's oh man. Going on to extra number six. That's going to be the light bars folded in. The push bar. Sorry, the spotlights folded in. I can't even English right now. This extra number seven is going to be that Satina push bar. Coming into full effect on the front there, which means extra number eight is gonna, obviously going to be that wraparound coming on strong there, uh, protecting that uh, front bumper. Extra number nine is going to be the ALPR system in the back. Extra number 10 is going to be those same antennas next to the ALPR system. And then extra number 11 is going to be those tall antennas on the roof. Going on to 12 
is going to be even more light or more antennas. And then this is what you would get with a unmarked or slick top appearance with that full with that full uh, unmarked or slick top present. So we can go ahead and uh, change this over to unmarked to take a look at you know how that would appear. And I I personally think that this is a beautiful, beautiful looking vehicle. Again, unlocked at the rank of Master Deputy, but at Master Deputy, you would not be able to drive it in an unmarked or slick top fashion like you're seeing it here. I just believe that this looks incredible. I think that this is a very nice looking vehicle, and I think that the Sheriff's Department's new fleet is very nice looking, and I can't wait to show you guys the rest of it and what they have in store. Again, what a beautiful looking vehicle. And that is going to be it for this episode of DOJ Fleet Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, don't forget to leave a comment down below on if any other vehicles that you would like to see, what you guys would like to see next month and going on from there. As always, this has been your boy Darian, and I will see you guys next time. Uh, doses!